That was perfect. Okay, so uh, gonna be talking about day eight, I think. Well, I don't know. It's the round of 16, second day of round of 16, going into the second part of the quarterfinals. Okay, that's the day I'm talking about. We got Berrettini against Rublev. We got Tiafo against Medvedev. We got Alex Diminor against the guy who played Vasek Pospisil. And we got Felix Alex or Felix Aljaliasim against Dominic Team, you know, okay? That one. Uh so I had first and foremost Berrettini is not at all the person I said he was. Uh I said he was a left handed one handed backhanded Italian. He's not. He's a right-handed, I believe he plays with two-handed, backhanded Italian. Uh, he's he's good, don't get me wrong, it's not like bad or, or nothing, but uh, he's he's uh, it's not what I said he was. Uh, and he lost to Rublev, so oops, wrong pick there. Uh, it was four sets, so I got that right, good job, but the... Uh, Four sets were not for Berrettini. Rublev took it. I think he, the first one was like 7-5 that he lost, or 6-4. Uh, then he won it like 6-3, 6-3, 6-2. Really took it from Berrettini. So uh, while I do apologize for not knowing who you are, Berrettini, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter anymore this time. Uh, next, Tiafo, Francis Tiafo against Daniil Medvedev. Mm. I don't know if I said Rublev's first name, but I don't know it. I think it's Alexander Rublev. Might be Andre Rublev. No idea. But it's a first name. Francis Tiafo against Daniil Medvedev. Uh, I said Medvedev was going to win it in four, maybe five, or maybe three. Wasn't sure where it was going to go. And Tiafo said one of my given predictions. Uh, he was not really there. Medvedev, I mean, he put up a fight in the first set. I think it was, I didn't write it down. Um, I think it was 6 4, maybe 7 5. Could have been a tiebreaker in the first set. Um, yeah, he actually, he may have had set points um, in the first set, but that also may have been Diminor, so I'm not too sure. Uh, Tiafo tried in the first set, second set really didn't go so hot, may have been 6-1, 6 love, something along those lines, I know there may have been 6 love in there, um, but Daniil just walked over him, um, took the match right out of his hands, really solid pick for the semifinals, easy finalist, and I think he's gonna win it, he looks really solid, and if he brings this for the next few matches, meh, yeah, I think he's got it. Uh, Diminor against Pospisil. I thought Pospisil would put up a decent fight. I didn't think Diminor would run away quite the way he did. Um, yeah, this was. So he won the first set 7 6 in the tie break and uh, 8 6 in the tie break. Then 6 3 6 2 just walked away after the first set. I thought Pospisil might be able to put up a little more of a fight, but he just looked tired after set one. And Diminor, I mean, can run forever. Diminor is just uh, a leg machine that plays tennis for fun. It's crazy watching him get some of the shots he can get to. Covers the whole court. Uh, but anyway, that's that match. Uh, then Felix Auger Aliassime gets Dominic Team. I said four, maybe five sets, just because I thought Felix had the legs and the youth behind him, but Dominic Team just has so much more experience and is such a powerhouse that even, I mean, Jose, Jose Aliasim put up a huge effort in the first set, took him to a tie break, but the next two sets were 6-1, just 
Dominic Team is his own player. He can just go to a level that not many other players can go to. It was like Nadal on clay. He would just hit shots that players are like, I, I don't know, I've never seen something like this before. He can just have that point. And watching him just dominate that match was scary. Oh, wait. So now we're done with that one. Let me go into our predictions. So predictions. Bum, 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 bum. Reverse order. We got Dominic Team against Alex Dimnor. I have Dominic Team taking it. That's probably going to be the only three set match. I mean, maybe the, both these two matches are the only ones with the possibilities. I think both the ones, like I said in the other video, both of them are going to go four sets. I think they're going to be pretty long matches in the long run. Um, both of these have a good shot at being three set matches. I think Dominic Team, even though Alex Dimonor can run and can get a lot of shots, I think Dominic Team just has that extra level that he can go to that T Dimonor just won't be able to get um, and won't be able to handle for three, three, four sets. I think he really is going to get out pretty soon. And Dominic Team can just break service games like it's his job because it is technically his job. Uh, then. Daniel Medvedev against Andre Rublev, Alex Rublev. I really don't know. Andre Rublev, one of them. Maybe I don't know. I think it's an A. I don't have it written anywhere. Uh, I think I think Medvedev has the ability to win it in three sets, but just because they're both Russians and they train with each other sometime, I think Rublev has it. Same with uh, Fuchovic and Tiafo. Like Tiafo might just have that secret code that a couple shots, the timing locked down, that he can beat Medvedev in a couple sets, or that he could have beat Fuchovic in the Tiafo reference. But I think Rublev might be able to eke out a couple sets or one set. But I think yeah, this is probably going to be four sets, most likely four. But there's a good chance of it still being around three sets. And that's the same with Dominic Team and Divinor. Maybe four sets, but probably going to be three. So that is the final round of my quarterfinal picks. Good luck to all the players, because they, they watch. I know I only get about... It's less views each video, so it makes sense, because they get eliminated. Half of them get eliminated each time, so... Uh, but I think... I think they all watch just to see, oh, who's he picking, who's he going to take. It really gets them hyped up for the match. So, Good luck to you guys. Best of luck. Hope to see you out there one day. As a player? As a player? As a fan? What? What am I going to be there as? Who knows? All right. Okay. Best of luck. So last time doing my outro, I knocked the camera off and had to redo all this. So hopefully I'll just do something simple like... That's it. That was all. That was all. Oh, wait.